Hi everyone and welcome to my channel New Leaf Podcast. My name is Carmen. I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. You can find me on my website newleafdesigns.nl and that is also my Instagram handle. So in today's video I have a roundup of 12 sweater knitting patterns and those 12 sweater knitting patterns are free and size inclusive so what more could you want? I am super excited about the designs that I'm going to show you. Uh, so I I just want to preface this by saying I am all for designers charging for their patterns because You know, I'm a designer myself We need to live off something <laughs> and uh, You know a lot of work goes into these patterns and a lot of designers are also putting out their designs for free uh, to help out people who don't have an extra budget to pay for patterns or just to help people find them as designers because sometimes you just want to have a little taster pattern um, to, to find out what this designer's style is like um, because not all patterns are standardized so you might need some time to get used to how a designer is writing up their pattern and to figure out if you like it or not. So free patterns are amazing and I'm going to share 12 of those with you today. So on to the first one. I'm going to move a bit more to the side so I have room to place a photo of the sweater. So first up is the Savannah sweater by Martin Story. Uh, Martin is a very well-known designer um, I think he designs for Rowan, um, mostly. Is that true? I'm not sure, but... <laughs> so Savannah, uh, it's a beautiful sweater. It's a V-neck cable sweater. It has lots of cables throughout. It has a drop shoulder. Um, looks absolutely beautiful. It's shown in a kind of uh, cream beige, um, maybe oatmeal, but of course you can... I mean, I'm picturing it in blue. It's, yeah kind of my go-to color for cable sweaters. Uh, it is available in, from size 28 inch to 62 inch. And I will say the sizes are kind of grouped, um, like the smallest size is 28 to 30 inches, and then the next size is 20, uh, 30 two to 34 inches and then and the largest size is 60 to 62 inches so a very generous uh size range it's available for free um you do need oh you, right and i will link all of these patterns in the description below um it is available in english french and german and you will need a uh rowan um website account for it and then you will be able to download it for free so i will be linking that down below um yeah just a beautiful sweater uh by a very experienced designer um so if you want some cable goodness into your life this is the one up next is the Canvas Jumper by Irene Lin, and Irene is, uh, I, I'm not sure actually how long she has been designing, I think a fair couple of years, uh, but I've only recently discovered her through Instagram and I absolutely love her patterns. Um, now she only has a couple of free patterns and this is one of them, the Canvas Jumper. Um, I will say that size-wise, it's a little bit confusing for me because she has seven sizes from XS to 3XL, uh, but they're only like one inch apart, which is a bit, uh, like that. that is very, very detailed and specific uh, to have a 36 uh, bust size but also 37 39 41 42 it's just very very specific so that does kind of um yeah st strike me as a bit odd so the largest size is 46 inches which is not really it is supposed to be worn with uh four inches of positive ease um so the bust circumference is 46 inches so it should so it should give a largest um, finished circumference of about 50 inches 
So size-wise, this is probably the least inclusive one of the bunch. Um, but still, um, I'm finding that from the pictures it looks very oversized, so it might have a little bit more range in there than it specifically says. Uh, it's available as a free Ravelry download, so I will be linking the Ravelry page down below. Um, so about the sweater, it is a top-down sweater. It's a yoke sweater, which means that it uh, has increases placed regularly. Uh, around the yoke and it is also a fade sweater so that is amazing for using up uh, basically random yarns uh, so because I'm imagining that if you're a knitter with a uh, smaller budget that you also you might not have a lot of skeins of the same color so that's also why I put this um, sweater pattern into this roundup so the canvas jumper by Irene Lynn. Next up is Stagione. <laughs> At least I think Stagione. It's it's like season, right, in Italian because I only know Italian pizza names, I'll be honest. Uh, Sajone by Courtney Spainhauer. Uh, it's available in sizes extra small to 6 uh, XL, uh, which is 38 inch. That seems large for an extra small. Oh, that's finished measurement. All oh, right, all right, all right. So the finished measurement of the sweater is 38 inch for the smallest size and 65 inch for the largest size. Let's see if it gives any positive ease. Oh, it's modeled with eight inches of positive ease. So that is quite a lot. Um, that is quite a lot. So that means that for the largest size, which is 65 inches, uh, with eight inches of positive ease, that means you have a bust size of 40, no, 57, perhaps 57 inches. But you know, eight inches is a lot of positive ease. Uh, most sweaters are also able to be worn with maybe four inches of positive ease. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful sweater. Um, it's kind of, what is the construction? I'm not sure if it's uh, top down or bottom up. Ah, ooh, ooh, interesting. <laughs> All right, I read up a little bit about the construction and this is very interesting. So it says the sweater is worked in two pieces flat from the center to the edge of the body. So it seems that it's knit from the middle to the outside. <laughs> so that you start with the middle line of the body and then you work towards the sleeves. That's very interesting. But also it has a very nice stitch detail on the shoulder. I will include a better picture of that. Uh, and I just thought it was beautiful and with a very generous size range. So that is wonderful. Um, so yeah, that was the Stagione sweater by Courtney Spadehauer. Up next is the gingerbread sweater by Espastrico and Espastrico they have many different free patterns um, and I think mainly because they are a yarn store and you will find that with uh, yarn brands or yarn stores you know obviously they want to promote their yarn they want to primarily sell their yarn so you will often find that that they have free knitting and crochet patterns which is amazing for knitters on a smaller budget and so i would definitely go check out espastrico because they have many different sweater patterns but this is the one i chose because it's a raglan sweater and i love a good raglan and um it's a very good uh, base layer and no I don't mean layer it's a very good uh, staple piece for your wardrobe uh, it uses a uh, I think it also uses a mohair yarn in there no, I'm not sure it uses two two yarns held together uh, so it's a top-down raglan yeah it's just beautiful I even just love it in this color um, the sizes are 43 inch to 64 inch so that's it's a bit large 
I mean, the smallest size is, is a bit large. Uh, let's see if they mean that as a finished size or as a bust size. Okay, finished circumference. And it's meant to be worn with 10 inches of positive ease. That's a lot. Um, and they also say that some people prefer a closer fit. Do not be afraid to select an option that provides less uh, than suggested ease. All right, so if you were to wear it with 10 inches of positive ease, then this would be for bust sizes 33 inch to 54 inch. Um, yeah, if you want to wear it with 10 inches of positive, positive ease, but that really is quite a lot. Um, so yeah. You could also say that the largest bus size is maybe uh, 58 uh, or even 60 inches because then you would still be able to wear it with four inches of positive ease, which is already a lot. I mean, which is already a fair amount of ease for, um, for sweaters. So yeah, the gingerbread sweater, love it. Up next is the All Together Sweater by Hohi Lucatelli. And if you don't know Hohi Lucatelli, are you even a knitter? I mean, <laughs> she is one of the most experienced, most well-known and well-loved designers. It's, yeah, Hohi is amazing. And this is a free pattern of hers that she has published um, uh, basically at the start of lockdown, I think, or maybe slightly after. Yeah, in June 2020, the sweater has all together in uh, color work on the front. And it's basically as a, you know, because from the start of the pandemic, we kind of had to, you know, get together and, you know, support each other. Uh, so that's also the backstory behind the sweater. Uh, obviously, um, she has lots of uh, color work charts in there, so if you don't want the specific altogether color work chart in there, I'm sure you could, you know, repeat the, the leaf pattern again because she has some beautiful um, leaf and flower patterns in there. Uh, so let's take a look at the sizing. Um, the sizes are from extra small to 4XL. And what does that mean in inches because I'm always looking for the inches uh, and not the okay what does this designer think is median because it might vary so it says bust circumference okay there are finished measurements for the bust the smallest size is 46 inch and the largest size is 68 inch um, and it is suggested to wear with about 10 inches of positive ease. So again, that would mean that for the smallest size, you would have a bust size of 36 inches, which is technically a small instead of an extra small. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit wanting on the smaller side, to be honest. The largest size is 68 inch, which with the suggested amount of positive ease would mean uh, a bust size of 58 inches. Oh, it does say that um, it has a little bit of a note about the sizes. This sweater uses a very large color work motif for the letter section, so for the text. Um, the pattern could not be resized to adjust for each individual size. The smaller sizes have more positive ease, otherwise the motif wouldn't fit. Okay, so that's why the smallest sizes are a bit large. Um, However, every effort has been made to adjust the design so that the neckline and the sleeves fit perfectly. For the larger sizes, we use a very simple dotted floral chart, dotted floral chart on each side of the main panel to make up for the stitch count difference. All right. Okay, but I wanted to know about the construction. Okay, it is top down. Yeah, I think it's top down drop shoulder. I think that is it, but it doesn't really say in the description. I'm just reading from the Ravelry tags. So this is also available as a free Ravelry download. So I will be placing the Ravelry link down below. Then we have the Flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. And this is, I think, one of the most well-known sweater patterns 
ever. Uh, Tin Can Knits is amazing uh, for their sweater patterns and Flax is one of their free patterns. They have a couple more free patterns, so definitely check out just um, the designer page. Uh, they also have a Baby Flax, I think. I'm not sure if it's called Baby Flax, but um, yeah the the size range is huge uh so sizes available it says it starts at zero to six months <laughs> um so they have various kit sizes up to eight to ten years and then uh the adult sizes start at extra small to 6xl and let me just give you the uh inch the chest measurements for the adult sizes yeah, so it starts at 31 inch. See, that's a that's a proper extra small measurement, I think. Sorry, that might seem weird to say. But so the smaller size range is also just very well represented in this pattern. Uh, 31 inch to 66 inch. Again, just you can't go wrong with tin canets. They are amazing uh, size inclusive wise. Um, and I think it is top down. I've knit this sweater and I still can't remember. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it is top down. It has raglan sleeves and it has this kind of garter stitch um, detail on the on the side of the sleeves which if you don't like it you can of course omit it um so yeah top down in the round raglan beautiful um yeah you can't go wrong with tin can knits i mean this is my go-to for baby knits um right so next up isn't technically a sweater it's a crop top but <laughs> still wanted to include it because it is the Summer Secret Crop by Jessie Maid Designs and Jessie Maid is known for her size inclusivity so the sizes available are extra extra small to 5XL to fit a bust measurement of I always like that wording because then you know it's the bust measurement of the person and not the finished measurement of the garment so to fit bust measurement of uh, 24 to 26 inches for the smallest size and uh, we're, yeah and 60 to 62 inches for the largest size and all of the sizes are pretty close together so you have 24 26 inch 28 30 inch 32 34 inch so um, and it's just a very cute crop top I'm thinking it's bottom up yes it's a bottom up design you start with some ribbing and then it's stuck in net um, and then you have your straps that kind of crisscross in the back which is really really cute uh, it only uses a small amount of yarn so if you have a special skein or two in your stash then um, then you can easily get this top out of it um, oh Oh, a side note here. Um, the Summer Secret Crop will be available for free for the duration of the COVID-19 crisis. Okay, so it's still free right now on 17th of April, 2023. Um, but yeah, it might not be free forever. I mean, who knows how long this is going to continue right um or whenever you're going to be able to say that it is over right so it is free for now go and grab it um yeah i've already knit a crop top by her and it's really fun um yeah it's just a really fun knit actually also um right so on to the last five patterns next up is a top not a sweater but a top uh called the picnic folks top and it's actually by a very new designer Wan Cheng Hua sorry I might be saying that wrong Wan Cheng Hua yeah I'm thinking it is I'm, I'm pronouncing it with the Mandarin Chinese pronunciation because she's from Singapore but it might not be correct so 
apologies if I'm mispronouncing it. So the Picnic Folks Top, it's so cute. Um, and it's uh, knit with cotton uh, because I figured beginner knitters, well, you know, knitters with a smaller budget are often also beginner knitters um, because as you um, get more experience with knitting, you tend to uh, put a larger amount of your budget towards knitting. It's just the way it is. So, um, but, and beginner knitters are often also a little bit, um, scared of wool. <laughs> um, so this is a cotton knit, which I thought was very nice. And it just popped up on my Ravelry, um, new designers page. And I checked out her Instagram, which is nitty gritty underscore s g uh, i think for singapore uh so yeah go check her out um and i was blown away that one of her very first designs is so size inclusive so it is available in nine sizes um and the smallest size is a 31 um inch bust and i Let's see, that's the garment bust circumference. Yes, okay, okay. So that's the garment, the, the finished garment circumference. So the smallest size is 31 inch, so that's pretty small. Um, and the largest size is 63 inch. And it's designed to be worn with about two inches of positive E, so it's pretty snug. But again, it's, it's a summer tee, so you usually have a bit less of positive ease because uh, for sweaters, you know, in winter, you often you're going to be wearing them over another layer and with summer tees, not really. So, uh, so there's less positive ease, two inches. So that leaves for the largest size uh, that you'd have a bust size of 61 inch. So again, it's a really, really nice size range, especially for a new designer. Um, so yes, very, very well done. It's available in English. Um, and she uses worsted weight yarn. Not sure I'm saying that now because I haven't said that for any other, <laughs> uh, of the sweater patterns. Um, so let's see. The Picnic Folks Top is a summer shirt that is knit top down with a pseudo saddle shoulder construction. Very, very nice. Um, the neckline shaping is done by knitting flat back and forth with lace work on the shoulders and the neckline is then joined in the round. Very nice. Um, so instead of short rows, as I usually see in a sweater, you have you first just knit the back back and forth. And I will include, um, I, I will have included a picture of the um, shoulder, the lace design there as well, because it's not very visible from the uh, Ravelry pictures, but I did, I did see a detail picture on either one of the project pages or on our Instagram, so I will be sure to include that as well. Um, yeah, I might actually just cast this one on this year because it just looks so fun. Um, right, so next one. Next up is the Pope Basic Yoke by Pope Fergara, and I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly, uh, because I've been just thinking about it and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I know it's a, she's a Spanish designer. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm very sorry. Um, so it's a very simple yoke sweater knit from the top down. Um, very easy knit and um, very good basic to have in your closet. It's available in nine different sizes. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it says this pattern has a positive ease of about five centimeters, which is about two inches, and it's already counted. So, so I think in the bust circumference total that she has already calculated in that positive E. So this will be the finished garment measurement. Uh, the smallest size is 30 inch. 
um, and then the next size up is 32 and something something inch um, and then the largest size is 61 three seven quarter inch wow uh, so about 61 inch so with the positive ease uh, that leaves you with a bust size of about 59 inches so from 28 inches to 59 inches that's a pretty solid size range uh, it gives you the yoke depth as well in the description um, and the yoke depth is basically from neckline to your armpit and um, yeah you're gonna want to check that as well because if it's like too long uh, you're gonna be left with poncho sleeves um, it's knit with two yarns held together and it's available in English and in Spanish and also as a free Ravelry download. So I will be linking the Ravelry page down below. So down to the last three patterns and two of those are cardigans. Um, the first one, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, uh, is by Amy Christophers and the pattern is Au Sable. I'm not sure. Uh... Right, let's see. Okay, okay. The Au Sable cardigan is named for the <laughs> Au Sable River that runs from the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York to Lake Champlain. Right. I'm, I'm just really not sure. So, for the size range, it's a little bit weird I will say um, because it just seems like it's only for the large sizes so let me let me dig into this so it says it has sizes extra small to 3xl um, but the finished sizes of the garment the smallest size is 57 inch Wait, wait, wait. I just said centimeters. <laughs> okay, backtrack. The, I just said the centimeters for the length of the garment. So, uh, the smallest size is 40.7 inches. Okay, 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 okay. 40 inches. Uh, so say if you wear it with 6 inches, that means that you have a 32, no, 34 inch bust. Uh, the largest size is 66 inches, which means that you would need a 60 inch bust to wear it with the recommended amount of ease. There we go. Okay, so uh, 34 inch bust to 60 inch bust, still pretty solid size range. Um, yeah, but again, so she, um, so Amy Christopher's. Uh, has the largest size a bust size for a 60 inch um, which she then calls a 3xl which I feel like is not really in line with what other designers are naming their sizes so that's why I always look at inch um, circumference so let's take a look at the construction I think it might be uh, top down no it's bottom up Okay, a bottom-up cardigan. Okay, it's published on Nitty.com. Like, Nitty.com is really, really great for free patterns, but there's a lot. So, I mean, same like on Ravelry. Uh, let's see if it says more about the construction. The body of the garment is worked in one piece to the underarms. All right, okay, so bottom up to the underarms. Sleeves are worked in the round from, from bottom up. Then body and sleeves are joined at underarm to work the yoke in one piece. Okay, very nice. Um, so yeah, that leaves very, very little finishing. So if you are into, um, you know, if you're not into seaming, then this is your garment. Um, and can we have a little moment for 
the cables and detailing on the back. It is beautiful. I, I would not be able to design this. That's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, and Amy Christopher's has a lot of free patterns. Um, so check her out if you like her design style. Then the next one, also a cardigan, is uh, the Dotty Cardigan by Stephanie Jessica Lau. You might know her from All About Ami. I've known this designer for so long. Um, I mean, not know her personally, I would love, but... <laughs> so she um, she started as an amigurumi designer. Um, so amigurumi crochet dolls and... Um, just very, very cute stuff. And for each zodiac sign of the Chinese, um, the Chinese zodiac, for each new year, she would publish a pattern for that. So it's very, very, very cute. Um, but uh, this is a knitting pattern. I was surprised to find a knitting pattern by her. Um, but she's a very experienced designer, so... Um, yeah, I have no doubt that her knitting patterns are just as good as her crochet patterns. Um, right, so let's check it out. It's a very oversized cardigan with some nice texture. It seems like it's broken rib. Um, that, that stitch name always seems a little bit creepy, but yeah, it's called broken rib. Um, Right, so let's take a look at the sizes. It's, um, so it has four sizes, I think, which, yeah. Uh, but they are kind of sizes that are grouped together. So you have small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X, and 4X, 5X. Um, because it is so oversized, you can wear it with a lot of ease. So the four sizes, have a bust of 48 inch, 54, no, 56 inch, 64 inch, and 72 inch to fit actual bust, so that is what your measurement would be, of 32 to 38 inch. So those sizes are grouped in the first size, then 40, 40 to 46 inch, then 48 to 54 inch, and then the largest size, 56 to 62 inch. So still, it's a very nice size range, but um, yeah, you'll have more or less positive ease depending on where in that size range you fall. Um, oh, she, isn't, she even has a step-by-step -step blog post. I love that. Um, yeah, like I said, just Stephanie, she, she had a group she has great patterns and I used to follow her patterns because she has step-by-step -step photos uh, on her blog post so uh, it's good to hear that she has that for this pattern as well uh, let's see if we can find the construction it's worked flat bottom up okay and it has a oh it has pockets oh that's so cute and this pattern looks like it's easier than most of the uh, sweater and cardigan patterns that I've just shown you. So if you're not as confident yet in your knitting skills, then definitely give this one a go. It's also knit with very bulky yarn, so yeah, it'll go by quickly. Um, so it's, it is also available as a paid PDF but it's available on her blog for free, which is something that I also do. I, uh, for most of my patterns, I have a free version on my blog, and then um, I have a paid PDF version as well. Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And she, she says, <laughs> let, me, let me share what I'm being excited about. Um, she says, the worsted weight version of this cardigan can be found here. The light dotty cardigan, which is also available for free. I'll include a picture. Um, so that's amazing. Like I said, I love this designer. Right. So that was the dotty cardigan. And now for the last pattern, I wanted to include one of mine. <laughs> um, I have the Around the World sweater. 
I have it right here, uh, but I'll include a picture of me wearing it so you can so you can get the full picture of how it looks. Um, it is my first color work sweater pattern, and um, it's for free on my website in English and in Dutch, and you can also purchase it as a PDF. Um, and I have it available for sizes 32 inch to 62 inch. And I've made a separate pattern, no, not separate pattern, well, you know, uh, <laughs> I've separated the sizes each two inch. So you have a, uh, I have a size for a 32 inch, 34 inch, 36 inch, 38 inch. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> 16 different sizes. So if you want to get real specific, um, yeah. I don't really know why I did it. I just, during the calculations of the pattern, I found out that I could. So I thought, okay, why not? Let's, let's give them everything. But I now see that it might be a little bit too overwhelming. But um, anyway, so the largest size is for your bust size of 62 inch. Um, and then the finished garment size is, is larger. So recommended ease. Where am I giving you recommended ease? Okay, I will need to update my pattern uh, page with the recommended uh, ease. Ah, there we go. So in in the actual blog post, it says this sweater is designed to be worn with two to four inches of positive ease. Um, so I have two fit bust and then actual bust of the sweater. Uh, so for example, uh, for the size 36 inch bust, um, the size, the actual bust size of the sweater is 39 inch. Uh, so that's a positive ease of um, three inches. So yeah. And for the largest size, the actual finished garment is 65 inches. So. About the construction, it is knitted top down. Uh, so you start at the neck and then you have some short rows in the back while you are knitting the color work section. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I made this one quite cropped, as you can see, because I like wearing high-waisted pants and high-waisted uh, skirts. So I modified this one a little bit. Um, this one is a bit longer. Yeah, and I also, I knit this one in fewer colors, even though it's still super colorful, but uh, I knit this one in lots of colors. So that's the around the world sweater pattern and I will leave the link to my free pattern to that down below. Um, right, so that was the roundup of 12 different sweater knitting patterns that are free and size inclusive. I hope you liked this roundup. If you did, please give a thumbs up to this video and please also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos of me. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video of mine. Bye-bye!